Okay, what's up ladies and gents? Welcome back to Look Good, Smell Good Fragrance. If it's your first time in this channel, on this channel, and you are interested in fragrance reviews, giveaways, new discoveries, designer scents, niche scents, inexpensive scents, and last but not least, clone houses, then please do hit that subscribe button, push the notification bell, and comment down below to be part of the fragrance conversation. My name's Mohammed, and you're in tuning in to Look Good, Smell Good, Great to have you over here today. I will be reviewing a fragrance by the house of Rosa Salas. This is a new fragrance by the house of Rosa Salas, none other than Nasbin. So let's start with the presentation. For those of you that don't know, the House of Rosa Salas is based in the UK. They primarily do clone fragrances. Some of them are clones and some of their fragrances are imitations or should I say interpretations of high-end designer and niche quality scents. Some of them are completely identical while some of them smell similar with Rosa Salas's own little twist on them. The one that we have over here today for review is Nasmin. So before I start, just as it happened over here, you know, this is one of the nitpicks that I had with the packaging. Now you saw the review, sorry, you saw the presentation. I don't know if it was just my batch that was doing this or everybody else's, but as you just saw there, when I tried to take it out, the top cap just coming out. And the reason why it's happening, the bottle design itself is nice. The packaging as well for the price that you have to pay. I'm not complaining. This is just a little nitpick. It happened to me several times just trying to take out the bottle like that. I couldn't do it, so it's gonna work now, but there were several times that I just tried it and it, it wouldn't happen. So the top cap, I don't know if it's the top cap's just loose on my batch or the inner lining that holds the bottle, that can be a bit tight. Anyway, it's a little nitpicky con. I'm not complaining about it, but it's just like I had to take the bottle out anyway. Just so you know, like I said, just a little nitpick. Talk about the fragrance itself. Nasmin is the interpretation of the 2018 release by the house of Louis Vuitton, Ombre Nomade. Now, Ombre Nomade consisted of notes such as oud, raspberry, benzoin, leather, cacao, and other woodsy notes, if I'm not mistaken. Nasbin, in his fragrance description, has majority of the same notes, with the exception of oud. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. The reason why they missed out the oud is because it's an expensive ingredient. FYI, for those of you that don't know, oud is one of the most expensive ingredients within the fragrance industry. I mean, no wonder why Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomade is priced at a whopping £325 just for a 100ml bottle. And if you want a 25ml bottle, you're looking to pay about £85 to £90 for the price. So quite a big high price and that again is because of the agar wood and the oud it's an expensive ingredient to purchase to replicate that same oud scent to replicate that oudish type background rosa salas went with leather cacao and added other woodsy notes to give it that oudish background like i said this is a 30 ml bottle and for this you're paying 30 pounds for a 30 ml and I think it's 40 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, for a 50 ml. So quite a big price difference compared to 325 ml, sorry, 325 pounds for 100 ml. And over here, you're looking at 40 pounds for a 50 ml. This is one of the reasons why a company like Rosa Salas, you're better off buying from them. Would I ever buy Ombre Nomad as a blind buy? No. For 325 pounds? No. Personally, I wouldn't even purchase a 25 ml for 85 pounds is just it's too risky for a blind buy companies like this give you a good indication on how it's going to smell so even if this is not a hundred percent of a clone or it's not an 80 percent of a clone or even better yet it might not be a 60 percent of an exact clone of that fragrance but at least it's going to give me the wearer and you the gist of how it could smell so when i smell this at least i know a little bit what ombre nomad might smell like Let's move over to the smell, why don't we? Nasman is a super potent 
strong scent. This is explicitly for the oud lovers out there. If you've never tried oud, you don't like oud, or you want to get as a beginner, you want to come into oud, this is not the fragrance for you. I'm telling you right now, it's a super potent oud fragrance with a touch of raspberry. That's what it is. My best description is it's a smoky, dry, woody scent with a touch of raspberry. To me, how does it smell? Beautiful. The sillage of this fragrance is definitely going to get you compliments. One of the biggest problems with some oud scents is that other people would like it. Other people would like it when you walk past them and the sillage comes off you and they smell it. However, sometimes for the wearer themselves, if you were to wear this, you yourself might become a little bit overburdened or it might get clawing for you or some of you might even go ahead and say, hey man, I've got a sore head. With Nasman, the good news is that it is not a linear scent. When you initially spray it, you will get hit with a smoky resinous wood right in your face. Now, I own several oud fragrances and I've tried some as well and I do like oud. I'm not bothered by it. But when I first sprayed this, even I was like, whoa, this is some pretty potent and strong stuff. It is really potent. Like I said, you're going to get hit at the start. Don't judge it by its initial impressions. Wait 20 to 25 minutes. When it dries down, the oud tones itself down. That smoky resinous aroma sits at the back and that raspberry comes through. It's when that raspberry comes through, the sillage and the dry down is what remains throughout the life of the fragrance. And that's where the magic happens. And that's where I like this fragrance. Speaking of which, why does it have that heavy blow at the start? Sometimes fragrances or old fragrances like Nazman, they can start off really harsh just because they're going to provide the, the, the scent. In my opinion, they provide the scent with a much more longer lasting projection and the scent itself lasts a lot longer. So when you initially spray it, you don't get hit light. You get a really heavy blow and then that dries down and then you're left with the scent for the remainder of the life of the scent. Sorry. With me, when it came to performance, the performance on this was exceptional. I went with six sprays and I could smell this literally lingering around me for at least four to five hours. When it came to longevity, this is like a beast mode fragrance. Again, it is a strong and potent, powerful fragrance. Longevity wise, on my coat, this lasted plus 24 hours. And I'm not talking like I had to go to my coat and smell it and sniff it out. No, I'd open my cupboard and I could smell this straight away coming from my coat, even after 24 hours. When I was testing this for several days, the area where I sprayed the back of my palm over here, I'd wash my hands with water and I could still pick it up. So super potent stuff, you're not going to need a lot of it. Exceptional performance by Nazman, I was really impressed. Compliments wise, again, for nighttime wear, yes. Is there a summer scent? Absolutely no, it's not a summer scent. Best worn in the colder days, colder nights. I do see women complimenting this. Nazman on their website does state that not unisex. Uh, sorry, they don't state they don't state it's unisex. However, they do state it can be worn by anyone. My personal opinion: this definitely has a masculine scent to it. It's a masculine scent by a mature man. This is not a teenager scent. You need to be mature, be dressed up, going for a night out or a day. This is going to do you well. Again, if you like old based fragrances, the sillage, the performance, the quality. Sometimes they say, you know, you get what you pay for. With Nazman, in my opinion, you get more than what you pay for. There was never a time throughout the opening or the dry down. When it comes to clone houses or interpretations, I've got quite a few that when you spray them, you get a really big blast of alcohol. And you can tell from the get-go, the notes aren't as uh, potent as they should be. The notes aren't as of good quality as they should be. And you get a big alcohol blast and the whole fragrance just smells synthetic. And you can actually tell the difference just by smelling which one's the real one and which one's the clone. With Nazman, I wasn't able to get that blast of alcohol. Throughout the start, the life, the heart, the mid... And the finish of the fragrance, it was never a time where I was like, you know, this is really bad quality. So for the price that you pay, the quality is really good. You won't be disappointed. Unfortunately, I don't have um, the actual Ombre Nomad to compare this to Louis Vuitton. And that's why I was saying £325 is quite a lot for 100ml just to go with a bland buy, especially in an old base fragrance that most men aren't going to be wearing. But at the same time, it does have that mass appeal. You're going on a night out, on a date, this is going to do you well. Just be careful, don't overspray it. 
four to six sprays or should I even say two to four sprays is enough these come in if I'm not mistaken a 5 ml 10 ml 30 ml and 50 ml all of them Nasman is a go so great release by the house of Rosa Salas I'm not disappointed great bottle I will be having this in my winter rotation when it comes to winter time this is definitely going to be a go again I'm going to say only if only if you like oud fragrances if you've never tried oud fragrances I recommend you go for the 5 ml if you like oud scents if you like woody scents and you want a soft touch of raspberry right behind it then this is definitely going to please you I can guarantee you that that's it from here I look good smell good fragrance reviews Listen guys, if you found any sort of value or help throughout this review, please do hit that subscribe button, push the notification bell, and comment down below to be part of the fragrance conversation. That's enough here from me, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Thank you.